Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Jude. Today we are in Palmyra, New York. A few months back, we sent up all the house speakers, equalizers, and amplifiers to redo their house sound system. The men of the church got everything installed and we are here for final tuning and a little bit of assembly. But I noticed one little problem with the house speaker install. So in today's sound advice, we're gonna talk about safe and proper raking techniques. This video is purely for entertainment purposes only. Let's talk about working load limit, WLL. Every overhead rigging piece of equipment is gonna have a working load limit. On our eye hooks, we have a working load limit. On our swedge clamps or cable clamps, we're gonna have working load. On our aircraft cable, we're gonna have a working load limit. In overhead rigging, you're gonna be looking for a four to one or five to one safety ratio. So your braking load limit is gonna be way higher than your working load limit. And that's your built-in insurance factor. On these eye hooks, these eye hooks are not rated for overhead rigging. They're what we call turned eye hooks. They take the piece of metal in the factory and they just turn it into an eye hook. That metal is not as hard and then that metal can also open up. It's not a big deal when you're working on a clothesline or a fence or something down low, but when we have nearly 100 pounds suspended from the ceiling and we're probably a good 25 feet up in the air, if anything lets go, it's gonna kill somebody instantly. So you need to understand if your equipment is rated for overhead rigging or not. Most of the time in your local hardware stores, you're not gonna find overhead rigging. It's gonna be a very specialized product. It's way more expensive, but it's well worth the investment. The eye bolt we'll be using today is the 3 8 forged eye bolt. Now that's our turned eye bolt. This is what the church used. This is what we're gonna be putting in. It's significantly bigger. But one of the reasons why we're using this forged eye bolt is it's really hard to get a good working load limit off of wood. Wood is not man-made, so there's a lot of variables that we don't know about. The species of the wood, the density of the wood, the condition of the wood. Is there any cracks that's deep in the wood that we have no idea about? So it's hard to get good working load limits, so we're gonna go with this 3 8 Again, this 3 8 eye bolt is rated for 1,300 pounds. Now that 1,300 pounds is in line, it's a straight pull. If we start to do any angles, that drops the weight rating of this. This eye bolt is rated to do angle pulls because we have this shoulder. This eye bolt has no shoulder. This eye bolt would not be rated to do anything at an angle except a straight pull. That shoulder, when you mash it up against the wood deck, that transfers the weight of the eye to where on our shank, we're not gonna be bending the shank and snapping it up in the wood. The church asked if we could pull the speakers we're gonna slightly change the angle of the speakers, so we're gonna be moving it about four inches forward on the front uh, rigging points. Good rule of thumb is the thickness of the shank, not the threads, but the shank, that needs to be your pilot bit, or that needs to be your hole. So that means the only thing that's holding the weight of the speakers are the threads. So we need to make sure that we drill the right hole the first time. Next, let's talk about our aircraft cable or wire rope. Typically, I use eighth inch aircraft cable. This church has specifically asked that I use 3 seconds, which is just a hair smaller than eighth and a hair bigger than 16th. So this 3 seconds wire rope is rated for 200 pounds, working load limit. It has a breaking load limit of 1,000 pounds. So that's our five to one safety ratio. So 200 pounds right here. We're gonna be using ferrules or swedge crimps. The swedge crimp will actually derate the weight of this. So this swedge crimp is gonna be rated for 180 pounds. Some swedge crimps will derate it as much as 20%, which would be 160 pounds. So we're going from 200 pounds working load limit now to 180 pound working load limit with the swedge crimp, which we're still gonna be plenty strong on holding the speakers.
And the manufacturer requires two crimps on this 3 30 seconds swedge. The next step is putting my rigging straps through the eye bolts. And this is what we'll use to hold the speaker as we transfer from the old aircraft cable to the new aircraft cable, which is on the new hanging point. In a future video, we'll talk about these green rigging straps I have. But the shackles are rated for 2,000 pounds working load limit. Green straps, 1,000 pounds working load limit. Okay, I now have all the way to the speaker on the new eye bolt, and this aircraft cable is loose. And we'll do the same on this side. Okay, this is the fun part. We're now going to cut the old aircraft cable. Okay, so we are on our new hanging points and the straps allow me to, well, obviously transfer the weight, but then I can work on the angles and make sure that everything is right before we commit to the aircraft cable. Okay, we are level, we wanted to make sure. So that's the beauty of these straps, is one ratchet click, one ratchet click we can change the angle. So I wanted to get off this strap so I knew exactly where this one was hanging. And then we'll double check the angle. Okay, so we're right on, measured the angle before and now after. So now that we have the cabinet leveled and angled where it needs to be, I'm going to use my vice grips and use that as a clamp until I can get that ferrule crimped. Oh boy. Hey, sir. Oh boy. Look at the trouble I've caused. I don't think there was any trouble. Hey, you know what? Just moving up one board looks, that looks great. Sweet. I mean, it looks like we actually thought about it. Well, I think you did. Are you also making sure that hangs level? This way, yep. Horizontally, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Because I think we tried our best, but I'm not sure we did. I, um. Uh, Once the professional touches it, I'm good. Well, Dave's not here right now, so. Well, all you got is me. Yeah, I, I heard you. Jacuzzi. Okay, here we go. Coming off the green strap, going to the aircraft cable. Check level again. I mean, I don't, I don't think you can get much closer than the bubble in the middle. This is the noisiest, ricketiest lift I've ever been on. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, it's, it's not uh, 2021 model. <laughs> and I still feel safe, though. Yeah. I don't know how you do it because you move around a lot more than you must do. <laughs> and I came down, too. Okay, we got that project taken care of. Uh, here's your takeaways. Take your time, do things right the first time. You'll never regret spending a little more money, taking a little bit more time to make sure your working load limits and your braking load limits are right. Thanks for watching the video. My name's Jude and this is my sound advice.
Do you want a quote? No. 